Here to talk about pivot tables updating the data. We have a pivot table that we have created for our bank showing the accounts that were open, the sum of the amounts. Unfortunately, I shouldn't say unfortunately, we do have additional data that was added down here. We have some 401ks, other things. We need to update the table. And typically, when you're doing this, you're in here, you click on analyze, you go into refresh it's not gonna work because you added new information you've got to update the data range in here and if I go into the um, size of the thing in here this data was created as a table and if I go in here and I want to modify the table size I go on to formulas I click on name manager it's table one that was named here. I can't lock it. What I need to do at this point, at the top here, you click inside here, you have the design. You have to convert this to a range. Do you want it to go oh, to a normal range? I'm going to say yes. Now let's go back into the pivot table data. So I want to refresh the data. I need to go into the source information. I am on Analyze. I click on Change Data Source. It shows it here. And what I need to do, I have to include the entire range. And kind of miraculously, it picked up the data at the bottom, 740, where I added additional things. It used to go... Down, well, it's saying here 714 through 7. I added in row 714, but it's going from row 1. It has the captions there. I say, okay, this is a great thing. Now I go into here. I refresh. You have to refresh. I'm going to say refresh all. It's going to take a minute. It's showing the 401ks with the sums in there. So if you have the data, you gotta make sure you're in that, if it is a range name, you can't change it. You've gotta go there and remove the range name from it and convert it to regular data.